What's up guys, welcome back. So, uh, today I was going to show you, well I am going to show you, um, what's inside the pulled pork 78 Chevy Blazer, also known as the Pulldozer. But, I'm a dope. And I got so, I got so excited about um, working on this kit and getting started on it that I opened it last night uh, while I was on a live. And I started putting it together. Didn't didn't make an opening video, um, so I'm gonna kind of show you what is in the box um, and and show you the little bit of progress that I made on it last night. Um, so I've got a part. I got a box full of open parts here. Uh, the trees are all really clean. This one's got some stuff broken off, <laughs> and I feel like such a meathead. Um, but you know, you got. You got a, a roll bar there, um, some traction bars, roll bar legs, uh, stuff like that, which is pretty pretty cool. Um, that's where wheelbacks were. Uh, your interior tub um, is pretty nice. Oh, a little low on the detail on the um, door panels. Uh, that light is, let me see if this helps with showing parts here. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so... The detail on that is kind of, eh, not that great. It's got a textured floor, so that's pretty nice. Um, otherwise, not a lot of flash, not a lot of cleanup, and it's straight and not warped, so that's good. Uh, you got, this tree's got your shocks, dashboard, steering wheel, um, racing seat, intake manifold, that kind of stuff on it. Um, Again, relatively clean. <clears throat> Here's uh, the tree with your headers that go up through the hood, carburetors. Um, this is like a skid plate with the tow hitch mounts in the back. Uh, this is your roll bar uh, with your off-road lights on it, fire extinguishers. Let's see. Uh, the hood. The hood is nice and clean and straight. Um, nice underhood detail. It's nice that it has the hole cut in it. <clears throat> That's nice. I hate cutting holes in hoods. Um, so that looks good. Uh, let's see here. We got... This tree comes with, uh, this, this kit's gonna have some extra parts, because it's obviously, it's the same kit as the, uh, the Chevy truck that they released, I think. So, you know, like you got a spare tire carrier. Uh, stock exhaust manifold, stuff like that. But there's some of the weights, the pulling weights. There's your engine halves. Steering column right there. I mean, this is a crappy unboxing, guys, and I'm really sorry. Like I said, I, I started on it. Wasn't even thinking. Not one little bit was I thinking. Um, you had a little, looks like a transmission cooler or power steering cooler. There's more weights, your radiator support. I don't know what that piece is. Um, I've got to look. There's two of them. I don't know if maybe it's seat backs for the other, uh, one of the other kits. I'm not sure. Uh, transfer case. It's pretty good. Um, you've got your glass. Still in the bag, so you've got the option for there's glass for a hard top <laughs> that it doesn't come with. Uh, there's a rear window, front window, um, tail lights, headlights, sunroof. I don't know what those are. There's like they look like glasses. I don't I don't know what those are. Actually, you know what? I've opened up the whole rest of the kit. Why not just open it, right? Break out hobby knife. All right. So there's the glass. It looks really good. It's really clear. I don't know what those are. I mean, I can suppose I can look through the directions and see if they're in there, but can you see those? These things look like glasses, like drinking glasses. Don't know what they're for. 
So there's that. Um, chrome tree. Uh, here's the chrome tree. Chrome tree is pretty nice. Um, you get your air cleaners, air cleaner lids, valve covers, bumper. Um, looks like more off-road lights. Your little keg for gas thing on the front. Mirrors, shifters, that kind of stuff. Um, pretty good looking tree. Okay, so I started putting the frame together. Uh, the frame needed minimal work. And when I say minimal, um, so this is what it looks like after it's put together. Well, not put together, it comes together. I put the axles on it. Um, everything looks nice and straight, as you can see. Everything lines up, falls right into place. This does come with a molded-in dual exhaust that would go to nothing if you're building this truck the way it's supposed to be built. Here, let me turn this light back on. That would go to uh, nothing if you build this truck as the pulling truck. So I took it upon myself to cut the exhaust out. Uh, got rid of that altogether, sanded down the edges. Um, also, you'll note this bar right here. So there's a, cro a big wide factory cross member that's there that they molded the exhaust mufflers to. So um, it looked kind of goofy under there, my opinion. Uh, so what I did was I cut that cross member out all together and I just put a piece of tube styrene in there to replace the cross member because obviously there would have to be something there. So that's what I did with the frame. Axles are really nice. Um, like I said, everything fell into place on this kit. So we've got the front mounted. That's for the weights in the front. Um, this will all get painted one color and then detail painting on top of that. I'll add shocks, that kind of thing like that. So that's that's that. The body is really nice. Um, it had some mold lines along the tops of the fenders. In here. Um, I sanded those off. Uh, I rescribed the lines. Um, but one thing that I did is I didn't like the door handles. They were, in my opinion, too small a scale for the body. They were they looked itty bitty. And I thought, this is going to be a pulling truck, kind of a custom type deal. It's going to be bright colors and flashy and like, you know, that kind of thing. So um, I got rid of them. I sanded off the door handles. I sanded off the door locks. Um, sanded all that smooth. There won't be any door handles on it. Um, there probably wouldn't be any emblems. I got rid of the wiper arms. Got rid of that stuff there. Uh... Then I rescribed the panel lines for the doors after doing all that sanding. Um, on this side, I do have when I trim the when I trim the door handle off. Boy, I can't. Yeah, sorry guys. When I trim the door handle off, uh, there's a little tiny pinhole that was there. So I've got to fill that with some body filler and resand. Um, and I'm going to leave this light off. The heck with it. Uh, so that's the body. Um, Minimal work to be nice, so we'll get uh, we'll get some primer on this. It's ready for primer. I'll wash it down one more time because I got my grubby little hang fingers on it. Uh, we'll wash it down one more time and then we'll get it in primer. Uh, so <clears throat> the directions, typical Rebel directions. Um, you very well. I'm just going to show you. Open it up to the middle and show you. I mean, you've all seen Rebel directions there. They're nice. Uh, the decal sheet is really nice. That's a really nice decal sheet. Um, you've got Ravel and Monogram license plates. You've got uh, some stuff that for the seat and the dash. Eh. But it comes with buckles. It comes with decals for your shocks. It comes with um, the groundhog for your tires. Uh, it comes with a bunch of stuff. So that's a really, that's a really nice decal sheet like that. Um, still up in the air on color. It's so I can tell you guys it's either going to be all black. It's either going to be black or pink. I, don't, I haven't made up my mind yet. So we'll see what happens there. Um, last but not least, the the biggest thing with this kit, and I bounced myself, bounced back and forth on this quite a bit. Um, 
wheels and tires. Uh, do I use those um, resin casted super swampers? Uh, do I use the kit wheels and tires? Do I, I even contemplated um, buying aftermarket 3D printed wheels and tires. Uh, so I'm not a huge fan of the tires that come with this kit. Um, but I, I, I thought about it um, and I talked to a couple of people and um, the decision I made was, so I'm building this kit as a kit review for Market Hobby Nut Models. So <clears throat> I'm going to try and stick straight to what comes with the kit. So I decided I'm going to I'm going to use the tires and wheels that come with it. Um, and I'm just going to I'm going to do some work on those. Um, as you know, if you use them the way they come, two of them are going the wrong way. Uh, but there are plenty of videos on YouTube that will um, tell you how to remedy that. One in particular, uh, if you go to the old school modeler, he has a nice video that details how you can do this. Um, I suggest you go, if you're going to build this kit and you want to fix it, or you have the big game hunter kit, you want to fix the tires, go over and check out his video. He's going to tell you how to do it. Uh, but this is basically what I came up with. There's the kit wheels and tires, sanded the tires down, uh, used his little trick, and now I have the tires that are going the correct way. So that's the way we're going to go with this. Um, I, guess, I guess that's it for now. Like I said, I'm, I really apologize, guys. I really wanted to do an unboxing like I normally do. I just uh, didn't use my brain, which is not all that uncommon for me. Uh, this time it just affected um, not only me, but <laughs> unfortunately you guys too. So um, there you have it. There's the progress. Um, hopefully we'll get a little bit more done on this this week, and I can show you some more progress um, later on. But this is what we're... This is our main focus for right now, is this truck. Okay, I think that's it. Um, do me a favor, I'm going to tag Old School Modeler in the description of the video. Go check out his video. Go check out his channel if you haven't. Give him a subscription. Give him some thumbs up. Um, as always, go check out Market Hobby Nut Models. He was kind enough to send me over this kit for me to build and review. Um, he has lots of cool stuff on his website. Go check it out. Uh, the link is in the description of this video. All you got to do is click on that link and it's going to bring you right to his website. Uh, I, think, I think that's it, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, thanks for all the kind words and all the thumbs up that you guys give me. It's fantastic. And uh, if it wasn't for you guys, I really probably wouldn't be doing this. So no, that's not true. That's not true at all. I would still be doing this um, because it's fun. Uh, but you guys helped me along the way and I appreciate that. So... I'll talk to you later. Bye.